Starbeams Audio. Thank you for listening to the Starburns Audio Podcast Network. We have so many great comedy shows to add to your playlist. Just last week on Starburns Audio, on the season two premiere of Humans Who Make Games, Adam Conover talks to comedian Ron Funches and Jean Goudon, creative director of the Assassin's Creed series. On Boogie Monster, Cal Kinane and Dave Stone share a perfect recipe for the quarantined cook. This week on Profiles and Eccentricity, they cover the history of the Khorasan Unity Cult, folks for whom a flat earth is ridiculous because they believe it's really a concave shell. Search Starburns Audio on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any podcast platform for our full list of shows featuring hosts like Joe Coy, Amanda Seals, Jessica Chobot, and Jackie Johnson. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Starburns Audio. Enjoy the show. Stay safe. Stay healthy and keep laughing. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. So listen to our podcast jam with co-host Arm and Dan. Then Earth, don't be a jerk. Cause when the music gets the funny hits and we are gonna take you down. Stick around, make a sound, hunger down, it's Dumb People Town. Hey Townies, welcome to a Friday episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Lesher. Matt Lesher. Welcome to the show, buddy. So excited yeah, to be in town. It Thanks, is so dude. nice to have you in the town. Uh, about this we were town. just talking about uh, the movie that we did with you, Teacher of the Year, which is yes. still available on Netflix. Is it really? Yeah, I think it is. It's pretty good. It should it should be on Netflix. Why are our voices getting so You got our voice went so it's fantastic. Keegan Michael Key's in it. He's great. This is the uh, comic Larry register. Baker. This is no, when you get funny. No, 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 I Jamie Kaler. It's a I cast. loved doing the the the. I loved what we did in that movie, and I loved how yeah. it came out. But you were fantastic. You were the heart and soul of that movie. You were the teacher of the year. I was the teacher of the year. <laughs> Such of, a good of actor. The title. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that was one of those things that we just really pulled out of our ass. I mean, I mean it, it was it, shot it, on a shoestring <laughs> and in a but couple. Did, of was it, should... <laughs> did it come out like when did her come out? Uh, I think her was, was after, after that. So, yeah, uh, so I just two, three years after freaking that. out. Yeah, seeing you, the high waisted pants that you had to wear <laughs> in her. Oh my god, I saw her in the movie theater, and when you because you played Scarlett Johansson's no, I, no. I, Amy Adams, Amy, Amy Adams', Adams husband. husband, husband. That's it. That's but right. you showed up with the high waisted things, and the whole theater cracked up. I know everybody had the high waisted things, but mine were up, but my nipples right they were but so they were, high. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a visual yes. thing that I'm sure yeah. was never written in the script to be a laugh out loud moment, but it was yeah, I, amazing. I, yeah, and I don't think Spike ever writes really laugh out loud moments. I remember when I walked in with the wardrobe and my hair was like plastered across my forehead, and yeah. she just kind of looked at me and was like, okay. Yeah. Is he okay. calm, dude? And I'm, it, he's so zen. But he's so, like, Is he zen because too. he's already done so much great shit that, like, yeah, he's not, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Maybe house it said, now. like, I'm already in the pantheon. I don't right. have to impress Playing anybody. Playing with house money now. You know Plus, I, mean? I know how to do everything. Like, he can literally do everything. He can act. He, he can he's shoot it. He kings. can act. He can edit it. He's, like, you know, doing it all on a MacBook and... Uh, 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 Canon on set. It's crazy. That, I'll say this about that he movie. He's a smart guy. He, he's I'll say this about that Martin. movie. That movie, and, and this is why I think movies are great. It kind of reminded me why movies are great. I could not stop thinking about that movie after I saw it. And I'm like, okay, it's really hard to do a movie about the future. Obviously, Idiocracy mm -hmm. is one of my favorite movies of all time. And the reason I bring it up is because I believe we're living in a world that's oh, getting yeah. dumber that this podcast totally and so i think about it all the time about wow how, where are we heading towards this like is yeah. how how is trump becoming terry cruz's character <laughs> you know what i mean like we're ah, we're, we're moving yeah. towards that but her made me think about that a ton well her i feel like was a precursor to like all the black mirror stuff yeah. where you're yeah. like very uh, much so you know what i mean very like so, if yeah. like her could have been like the best expanded black mirror episode ever like the one that like won every award and everything mm -hmm. because it really took it to the next level but even 
even Black Mirror, still it still feels very like kind of sci-fi to me. Black Mirror Does when it? I watch it. I mean, it, I mean, yeah. it's not that I can't relate to it or I don't find the people to be people, but there was something about her that felt like this is really. They talk about movies being in the not too distant future. This this really felt like it was in the not too distant future. slice like, of life. A, a, in a, that. Yeah, pretty much. You know, I very can't. I, there's a last thing I'll say about it because we got to get into a story. Sure. Is okay. the there are countless times times where I've been in New York and I watched people come up out of the subway just looking at their phones mm -hmm. texting and I'm like that's that movie yeah that's what that movie predicted four years ago would happen and it's happening that's what we've become that's what, what we've become you look at any street <clears throat> scene and it's yeah. filled like, people it's just full looking down their phone no one's looking at anyone else they're looking at their phone they're not yeah. interacting well, you're right now you're, yeah. 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 Well, well, we'll phone. talk about other projects that you have coming up because you constantly work and and rightly so but let's jump into a story right here we go ready yes it's sent by Seth Kirk at movie Seth 26 thanks buddy Seth Solid ending to your name there as well. Seth Kirk could also be someone's last name, like Dave Seth Kirk. That's true. You know what I mean? Like that, you, you could combine Daniel it. Seth Kirk. Uh-huh. Could also uh, be like Captain Kirk's nephew. Captain you Kirk's know, nephew, Seth, Seth Kirk, Kirk, or he could be a wide he's receiver on the from Texas a <laughs> He's on the ship, and he's like, where, where is Seth? I, I had to bring him on this thing. Seth. Seth's in the mailroom. He's Seth's in the, on the Enterprise. Uh, the Enterprise mailroom. <laughs> Get him out of the thing. <laughs> this is one of these stories in town that I'm going to tell you guys right now. It's... Uh, Kind of gross and off-putting, but no crime involved. Right. Okay, it good. just is one of the dumb things that happen in, in our the town. A lot of dumb stuff happens. No a woman removed her belly button and gave it to her ex-boyfriend as a present. Is that a Van Goghian? Hmm. Removed her belly button. Not, there's no ring missing from that sentence. It's no. Nope. It's, removed okay. her belly button so, and gave wow. it to her ex-boyfriend. So, so there, she, there, had there, Audi, there, she had there, an Audi. She had an Audi. They're saying removed <laughs> to cover up a very gross thing that she did. Right. right, like you don't just or take off your belly button. No, you have to carve it out. You got to carve. You got to oh, spoon you gotta it cut out. That out. Spoon it out. You need a melon, need a melon baller. baller. Yeah. <laughs> Where's a melon baller? I gotta get. What do you need it for? Do <laughs> you know that I was trying? We haven't to... bought honeydew in about a year. I, was... <laughs> I don't know where he's going for the melon baller. <laughs> I was trying to explain. My kids, you know, started to talk about. George, my youngest daughter was starting to talk about like Van Gogh and like mm -hmm. we were talking about it as I was driving her to gymnastics, and she's like, "What did he do again?" It's so like he cut off part of his ear and mailed it to his girlfriend. Yeah. He mailed it to Mike Tyson. I, to me, I think what's amazing is back in that day that he, in that day and age where there isn't like a stamps.com, he got the correct post. Because <laughs> <laughs> how heavy is an ear? You don't know. It's like, what, what do I what put I one? Need. There's no weight for the ear. On like the, the ear scale. goes, no ear weight. it comes yeah, back yeah. to you because there wasn't enough. Yeah. And you're like, I, do uh, I care about this the way yeah. I cared about it a week I ago? Put a I put a one frank it. stamp on it. Well, body modification fanatic, Polina Casillas Landeros. Mm. From Ooh. Mexico. Sounds like, sounds like a form okay. of dance. Right. Underwent numerous surgeries, such as a back corset, which involves piercings on either side ah. of the sign, a spine and a split tongue. She later decided to have her belly button as it was... She later decided to remove her belly button mm. as it is, mm. quote, what makes us human. What? Sh I don't think that's what makes us human. No Matt. longer wanted to, to be, be human. human. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, I um. Before she gave the belly it, button doesn't seem to me to be the the part soul. that makes us human. The most humanizing yeah, part of us. So here's a question I would ask Matt Lesher, just if I saw him today. How is the season of happen. Narcos Mexico going right now? That's a question. This could be a story. Yeah. I would yeah. never I say, well, Narcos Mexico. I would never ask him how's your back corset going. <laughs> right. <laughs> but this is like a, this. Does sound like a spoiler for the season, <laughs> right? Oh like, shit! You know, Episode or what eight. they do, what they do. El Chapo to the... gives his belly button to <laughs> That's it. Uh, his That's uh, cute. mistress. Yeah, That's it's so very, sweet. in that context, you're right. like adorable. Gave a little right? El That's, Chapo. Yeah, he went. He went out of his well, way. Well, she removed hers before giving it as a present to her then boyfriend Daniel yeah. Ramirez in 2015. Do you wrap it? What do you do? What do you send it? Is, I feel is like that going to like a something you can hang around your neck? Maybe? Right, but I'm it's, saying, but do you, do you put it in a tiny radio. Tiffany's box? I think you're, so. You're, I think you so. are the boyfriend. Your response, even though you're horrified, try to sell her that you like it. Here, I got this. I brought this for well, you. What is it? What what is this? Well, just open it's it organic. up. Organic. Open it. It looks organic. very uh, ooh pungent. Yes, yeah. yeah. open what, what it up. I I'm looking. You can't get that anywhere. Hold no. it. There's only one place. Okay, I'm taking it. it out. Take Hold it, it out. It's round. You can't return it. It's hard. Mm -hmm. um, There's no Amazon. Do you like feels it? Like Do you like it? What does it look like? Do you like it? It kind of looks like your belly button. Yeah, it is! Oh my God! Do you like it? 
<laughs> Your voice got really yeah. high. Yeah. So do you, I love it. I love it. Love it. I'm gonna, are you like, sure you love it? Because you're not like. I'm going really to replace jump. my belly button. I with thought this. you were going to react a little differently. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal that I you did know this for you, and he I, did, he's not even standing up. You I know just feel he like, didn't react enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, following the <laughs> removal no three years ago, she says she ultimately regrets her decision, describing it as reckless and impulsive. Yeah. yeah. But the back corset and off. the split tongue was okay. You yeah. took the one thing that made you human <laughs> and you gave it <laughs> away. Right. You're like, Wait, don't monkeys have You're like Marcellus in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. That's what was in the briefcase, his belly button. Oh, so the one thing if that, that made was him true, I would love that. The HR intern and tourism student. Have you ever heard those words together? HR. She's an HR, HR intern, intern and, and tourism you can, student. You can study tourism. I guess. <laughs> so tourism, super exciting. You travel around, you see the world. Right. HR, the opposite. The opposite. Right. Human <laughs> relations, the wor- she, Hey, she's a person who likes extremes. Hey, she's the one she who has is. to book the conference room for the sexual harassment seminar that the company has had. The HR intern and tourism student said, quote, I have always had problems with my family. I was not very close with them at the time. Do, do you think this brought you guys <laughs> Oh, I, n- now, it's, now it's making sense. I've always had problems with my family. She's literally removing her only connection to her mother. I right. guess. Right. She's yeah. cutting she's, the final ooh, piece deep, of the cord. She's taking it out. Yeah. Yeah. Deep. The, uh, body modifications fascinated me. There's something very transcending about them. I, that doesn't even make sense no. to me. Quote, I was very Same. angry. I wanted to cut all <sighs> unions from everything and everyone. Uh-huh. Just change your name. Yeah. Quote, this is the most Meisner thing you know, anyone could ever I do. wanted to dehumanize myself in a symbolic way. I wanted to do something controversial. You know what? That that last part is all she needed to say. Yeah. Forget all the other <laughs> controversial, shit. Controversial, yeah. You just I wanted, wanted to do, to do something, something controversial. controversial. Yeah. I Otherwise, so just times. like deactivate your Facebook account. Thank you. Exactly. I mean, that's it. That's go controversial. Buy a, <laughs> go buy a different name and move. You will then right. sever ties with there you everyone. Go, go off carbs done. for a month. Right. Happy, Wouldn't it be great right. if somebody was like, why'd you do the whole 30? I wanted to do something controversial. Whole thirty. <laughs> do the whole thirty. Do the whole 30. So, oh, so we're calling you Cookie now? Is that what it is? Cayenne pepper and go on a cleanse. Jeez. Quote: I underwent an operation, which is in quotes, which means it was not really an, an operation, operation. Yeah. Right. done by a professional. Yeah. Not in quotes. That what? part should be Wait in quotes. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. no, no professional should sign off on that. But he gave me. B- we very... do everything from liposuction oh, to man. belly button cut ups. <laughs> <laughs> but he gave me b- very bad advice on how to take care of the trauma so it got infected. If a guy or woman is willing to take your belly button off for fun, don't expect to get good advice from them on any level. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know That's where I go you. for all my surgeries? Mexico. Where? Yeah. yeah, that's where I go. If you're already there, Narcos, Mexico. Quote, yeah. <laughs> Narcos, Mexico. It's not a place. <laughs> it, is. it is. It is now. Did it's you a, even it's watch a hospital the show? show. Yeah. It's basically a general hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Narcos, Mexico. Quote, I was suffering. I spent days in bed as if I were quarantined. I couldn't stretch, push, stand up, or laugh. Really, when you think about it, taking your belly button off is the worst place to get an injury. You can't do anything. Can't, can't breathe. Can't, can't Everything eat, moves. Can't stand up and laugh. Yeah. Yeah. She can't laugh. And she seems like someone who laughed a lot. She goes, I quote. <laughs> I talked about her situation with her family. Yep. I love to laugh. Yeah. I love to quote. I mean, you take that away from me, and what do I have? Who am I? Who am I? No wonder she was, fe- she wanted to, yeah. No wonder she wanted to. It gradually healed. I'm just it- a belly buttonless, morose person. <laughs> it right. gradually healed itself, but not 100 per Sent two words in this article. Per That's her quote. Sent. Hmm. It, then she said, "It will never close entirely." Oh, those are emotional and literal wounds. Can she yeah. smoke out of it? <laughs> Ooh, not a, I mean, like it's not a trake, right? But like, maybe she puts like, like she, that. She put some dip too. in there. She's like, <laughs> she, like, yeah. I mean, is, is it a Super Bowl party trick? With hey, if you can eat out of it or smoke out oh, of it, I you're gonna end up in Ripley's, believe it or not. I thought he was talking about like. Uh, chewing tobacco dip. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. I almost said, I almost she's said just throw some school you know. bandits yep, in there. It'll feel real good. She's again. no longer human. She's a she's a spit cup. <laughs> she likes <laughs> snuff now. <laughs> Paulina, or Paulina, said she wanted she she knew she wanted to give the body art to Daniel as an ultimate token of love. By whose standards? First of all, even if they're just mm. yours, you need to check by what, a, what someone else's so standards. It is, I'm gonna tell you something right now. I've been married for. 14 years, I know that the thing that my wife is going to get me, I will probably return. 
Yeah. Once in a while I don't, sure. and that's pretty great. And no one's feelings are hurt or anything. No. Mm-hmm. Like you can't you return. Can't return, return belly the belly button. Can't you return can't. A belly button. I mean, you could. There's only one place you can take it well, to. And or it's, like, what do you get for that? Like store credit. Yeah. Also, <laughs> like you're not gonna get the full back. What love language does this fall into? Yeah. What? A I cut. piece of I yourself. Don't I don't this know. This is what I would tell I my daughters. This, this is what I tell my kids. When I think about you, I cut myself. Oh, that's sad. No, but this is what I would tell my about. If anybody cuts off a body part and wants to give it to you, yeah, get out of that relationship. Oh, I thought you were going to say they're the one. Oh, <laughs> is, is there any acceptable body part? I mean, a, a, like a, like a dish, no. fingernail, anything fingernail. that's no, like you think, Matt, well, no, maybe. No. By know. the way, Van Gogh, I'm going to go back to it, cut <laughs> off his, his ear and... He is one of the best painters ever. Those don't have to be related. If you did Van Gogh, ear probably comes up first in the Google search. Like it is one I of can the find out for it you. It right is now. one of the things. You do it, Dan. Van Gogh right E. Now. If you do Van Gogh Go E, e. <laughs> ear well, is, now you. Uh, it's up there, is it not? It goes. Starry, no. starry night. Ear is second to last. Oh, okay. Mm. Anyway. It's probably Louboutin is first. These are skewed. These probably because that's what I'm searching All for. I'm saying, oh, Van Gogh, like, <laughs> on a Louis Vuitton thing. I guess. No, but the, the point of it is but that, it's like, in there. we're still talking about that today. Oh, yeah. And he was yeah. one of the greatest artists of all time. So, like, you, that is so a- So she's always going to be belly button giver? Always. Like, if no. you told, for real, if you told me that Kanye did this, I'd be like, yep. <laughs> like, like this isn't some right. girl in Mexico yeah. I, I was saying some girl in Mexico the whole time The twist to the end of the article is that it was Kanye So I'd I think like, what we've yeah. learned today is that Kanye West Is a crazy girl in Mexico Yeah, <laughs> Lucky He's literally at that level She said quote I was very much in love with my then boyfriend He supported me through many difficult times And he is one of the most influential people in my life That's great You quote, know what he's not going to support you through? This yeah. Quote it was something I did in the spur of the moment Don't ever do something like Should this Should your boyfriend oh. or girlfriend be influential? We were we, Spur of the moment amputations Yeah, yeah never Spur of the moment tattoos yeah. Spur of the moment tattoos Always are bad, bad. We Always were bad. young and stupid But that's the way I felt I Now picture, you're looping him in that's it That's what I was going to say Yeah right Stop at the weed <laughs> I didn't know you were going to give that. I did not bro. ask for. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm a guy who just wants that. No. <laughs> and if you can't, if you can't name, find a card to go David along with Daniel. Daniel, Daniel Ramirez. But he's, from, he's from northern Wisconsin. <laughs> I, I didn't want none of this from her. We met. I was, you know, I'm born and raised in Mexico. I love it down here in Jalisco. But uh, I, this ain't what I want. You know, <laughs> I, look, I came down to Oaxaca about 25 years ago. <laughs> 25 I didn't ask her no belly I button. didn't ask her for nothing. I was uh, buying some manchango <laughs> cheese, and she rolls up, and all of a sudden, here I got a belly button in my goddamn arm. I mean, Aaron Rodgers wants to send me one. That's okay. It's but, all right. But it's for okay. Christ's sake, I mean, Jesus I do love Christ. him. We're, him and I are young and dumb. Look, hey, I'm part, part owner of the Packers, and I don't know why I suddenly <laughs> have a belly button. In she my says, head. "Quote: I put it in a small bag along with a note saying I love you. It was very emotional." A small bag. Small bag. Yeah. And we're gonna take a quick I'm break. Picturing like a you know a little Ziploc snack. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, think yeah. about what you think we about what back, type of bag it is. I'm gonna yeah. show you guys pictures. Oh. oh. And these They're pictures will also be on our Facebook. Page. All right. Stay with us, yeah. Matt Lesher, Dumb People Town Friday episode. Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying connected and productive? And then there's your newest coworker, the cat. Well, your friends at Trello have been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Trello keeps everyone organized and on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Teams of all shapes and sizes at companies like Google, Fender, Costco, and likely your favorite neighborhood coffee shop all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello.com. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Welcome back to the show. Our guest, let me just reset, Matt Lesher, is on the new season of Narcos. Narcos, Narcos, Mexico. Narcos, Mexico on Netflix. 
Congratulations. You Thanks. always work, and I'm and just deservedly so, happy, so. I appreciate that. Thank you. This is, it's fans. a good show. It's a reset on the old show. Yeah. So, new characters, yeah, it's new a, it's place. It's its own but, series. Yeah, it's its own like series. Like when you go to turn it on and it says season one, episode one, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I already watched season one. It's Narcos. No, this is Narcos Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few familiar faces pop up, but for the most part, it's all new people, and it's really, really good. I Dude, love that. Amazing. I just love people that. People love season one. It was a big, big, big hit and for two Netflix. And two. Of Narcos. Of and Narcos. now we got Narcos. Was Mexico. Yeah, it's rad. All right, let's uh, see this. Okay, you guys ready? This is the after. All right, this is what it looked like. And I just realized. Am I going to be afraid to see this? No, this is what I'm going to see before I die. It looks like uh, her belly button's out of focus. But what I just realized is the tattoo, which I did not realize before, which is perfect for someone who cut their goddamn belly belly button button off. And also, it's true for every woman and man. It says, my body, my choices. <laughs> my body, my choices. Do you think that came after she was sick of talking about the belly button or before? Yeah. I think it's an after. <laughs> it's an after. I think it's She's in shape. It She's goes shape. with it. Because it what else is it referring to if the belly button is there? That's true. Well, I don't well, I mean, remember she had needles in her back and well, a well, right. time, so is she it, was making sure. choices. Is it weird like when... You know, she's in this. She's in Mexico, but the tattoos in English. Shouldn't that be in Spanish? I don't know. Mi My cuerpo. Mi did did we say mean? she How was many? in Mexico? She is in Mexico, she's, or is she I, Mexican? She's in. She is Mexican. She's Mexican. Okay. So yes. why is she getting? Uh, I don't know. Why English? do all these white dudes walk around Chicago have Asian? Mi cuerpo, mis decisiones. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Good for you, Rand. Well, that explains it. It was too long. No, okay, now right. we're going to look at around. This is what she had taken off. around around to her back darts. This is what she had taken off. That navel. Mm-hmm. Uh, that fuzzy navel. Oh, God. And, and, uh, this, am I wrong that, like, okay, so, right? Matt, on an earlier episode, there's a bar up in Halifax uh-huh. where- Yukon. With the Yukon, yeah. where there's a- Petrified toe that they put in a drink. Put in a drink, and you drink the drink and kiss the toe. That is sort of like a thing that people do. I know, it's it's disgusting. Am I? But we would all do it. Should this belly button? Shouldn't it exist somewhere at a bar? Dan, Dan, I would not do it. You wouldn't kiss the toe when I was twenty-three. Maybe I would have done it. Would you kiss kiss the the toe? toe? Absolutely. I would imagine yourself. You end up in this bar. You're with your friends. I wouldn't do it, Dan. Come on. Absolutely. Just, I we also did a story once about where a woman cut time. her labia off and made it into a necklace. I think that was the Tom Segura episode, yeah, but I'm not It was not a bracelet, sure. but then oh. if you rubbed it, it became a necklace. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a, come Jason? on, Jason. What? Okay, ready? Here's the after. <laughs> this is what she handed Daniel. And as a Daniel, I could say I would I would look at this and go, nope. 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 Ready? Uh. Oh. oh. What? It just, and why is there a star in it? Wait, did she yeah, try to was, decorate it? It looks like... Um, she tried to decorate her belly button with a star. It didn't keep well. It's <laughs> kind of no. not what I expected it to do. Yeah, you got to put it right into... What is that? Formaldehyde if you want it to keep well? It looks like a coral. It looks like the. Know, it looks it like looks that like one. Like, um, that one French fry that gets down in the grease for like a while and it comes <laughs> up and it's like really brown and you're like... Is that? Can we eat that? That yeah. that cheese that goes off the edge of the grilled cheese and right. really can we really eat that? Up on yeah. the, Are we know, allowed to eat that? No. The answer is no, no. Probably you're not. No, you We're really f- shouldn't. A fruit leather Jesus of some kind. Quote, it is like a fruit leather. She said yeah. about Daniel, he has kept it and will keep it forever because he knows the meaning behind it. No, what no, drawer nobody does. in his house is this in? And when you get a new girlfriend, what are you going to be like? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not interested in her, but I got her belly button. Yeah. <laughs> No, you got to give it I got back. your belly button. I got, I got your, your belly button. button. I literally Trump. have got it. Ugh. Where Where is it kept? We don't know where it's kept. He doesn't say. I'm going to get Daniel on the line. Ca- yeah. Polina. Junk, junk drawer. Says, I know that's junk drawer scissors. It's just it's right next to a scissors. Sharpie it's without right a cap to- on it. <laughs> and my old, my old pocket ju- knife. My uncle gave junk drawer in your house? Old lotion. Drawer. My house is nothing but junk, junk, junk drawers. It's just uh, mm-hmm. any so you drawer. You could have a Mexican up. girl's I, belly button. In absolutely, one hundred percent. Hey, there's my SAG card from two thousand three. And her belly, belly button. button. Polina says that her relationship with her family has now improved. Whoa. Good for her. Hmm. Well, I do regret it when I put myself. I do regret it when I put myself in my mum's position. It must have been devastating for her. She was so sad, she said. Quote, I can't imagine how it must feel your own child wanting to break all their connection to you. You just cut your goddamn belly button off. That was you, didn't, you didn't, like, run away. I, as far yeah, as I, I wouldn't know. be sad. I'd be afraid. If my kid did that, I'd be like, I would want him tested. What did I a do? belly button closes wrong. and a door opens. If I could go... <laughs> 
That's the pillow <laughs> this town needs. <laughs> oh. If I could go back in time, I wouldn't do it again. It was impulsive, reckless, and I hurt a lot of people. She really is putting a lot of weight onto this belly button. It's not that big of a deal. I, I guarantee you, you're the people. only one who thinks about your mistake. Yeah. E- even though I did it for the wrong reasons, it has now taught me I should think things through before acting, and it's a nice reminder that characterizes me. I, okay. I I don't I mean I'm glad this helped you learn about thought process yeah, but this was the reminder you needed to think things it was it wasn't something what, that, like, like if you made your hair blue for yeah, like a month right. and everyone okay. was like that wasn't a great idea maybe I shouldn't be so impulsive that's how you do it agreed <laughs> that right. you don't cut your belly button I'm out I'm gonna ask you guys this though uh-huh. how old oh, boy. is oh, Paulina Casillas Landero too much fun leaves marks in life just about to ask. We saw her stomach. This is a game we play called uh, Guess the Age, Matt. You can go first. You are a guest. You can go first. You can go Tig, which is second. Or you can go do you know third. What a, do you know what belly button is in Spanish? What? It's a. It's like the perfect name for belly button. El ombligo. <laughs> ombligo. El ombligo. El ombligo. So a little circle. El poquito el ombligo. Mi ombligo es su ombligo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and mi novio. Tome. Tome. <laughs> Take it. So me. do you want to go first? Tig or third? You choose. You're our guest. Where do I'll you go first. Go? I'll go first. Okay. okay. How, How old, old do you she? think you Polina stomach. Casillas Landeros yeah. is? This might be controversial. I, I, I love yeah, it. I don't know, but it just feels right. I'm going to say 15. Oh, wow. 15 years I'm old. Gonna, this feels like an impulsive, youthful, okay. beautifully Rome, Romeo and Juliet. Right. Is what yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. Really. Only more okay. romantic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, only more Jason passionate. Jason or Randy? <laughs> <laughs> Romeo or Cornell and, uh, and okay. Juliet. Okay. <laughs> Lewis, um, let me see. I, I'm with you on the youth. I do think she's older than 15. I'm going to say 20. 20 years old. From I Randy think she's 24. 24. 24, 20. I think from Randy she's... Sklar. Boy. Yeah. All right, Townies, get ready to give your answers. While you're thinking about it, do we have any plugs we want to give around? I think this is dropping right before our live Dump People Town Does it drop on this on the 10th? I believe okay, so. Okay, if this drops on the 10th, December 10th, we're doing a live version of this show at Largo. 100th episode of Dumb People Town. Will Forte is our guest. Largo is one of the best uh, venues to see any sort of comedy. I don't know if you've been to Largo. I have, maybe. yeah. No, this sounds fun. It's Phenomenal. a big room. We want to fill it with as many Townies as possible get your tickets I'm sure there's still a little a few tickets left Should tonight be. but come out and then if you're in San Francisco we'll be at there at Sketchfest January January 11th which is the night before our birthday 10.30pm Cobb's Comedy Club we're going to do a stand up show earlier in that yeah, night with are. Dan uh, and I don't know where that's happening yet but uh, we'll let you guys know that but definitely come to the Cobb show it's going to be awesome we want to sell that thing out nice let's hear it alright and watch All right. Narcos Narcos Mexico, Mexico on Mexico. Netflix Mexico. what's your character okay uh, Jaime I make Kirkendall. Oh, yeah. what? Uh, yeah. He's yeah. badass. I badass. He's a real dude. He's a real dude. Is he really? He, really? Did you meet him? Yeah, I did. Yeah, he lives in Laredo, Texas. Wow. Really? Yeah, old school. Have nice. you been to Good Laredo? Guy. Did you? I went and saw him down there for two days. Yeah, amazing. amazing. Yeah. What, what's that? Can I just ask real quickly? Do you feel more of an obligation to play him right, or did he give you not right, but down to the T of who he is, or did he give you license to be like? play the essence of what I was trying to do and you do you. He actually never said a word about it. He was really cool that way. You know, he just, really the stories about Kiki Camarena, who mm-hmm. was the DEA agent who was tortured Spoiler and killed alert. in Spoiler the mid-80s. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's really the thing that kicked off the war on drugs. He was his good friend wow. and colleague and uh, he he wanted his story told right. So Does he like, love Narcos just as a show or is what's his attitude towards it? I mean, it's probably it's, bittersweet. Yeah, that's it's exactly into, right. Like, horrible memories. Yeah, he's sure. got so many, so much, uh, so many bad memories from that time time that like I, I doubt he's watching our version of it very much but uh still lives he in knew laredo. it was a vehicle to what <laughs> still lives in laredo yeah yeah well he's a texas that's kid crazy. yeah and, and across right across the border from laredo Juarez is that where no, that's in el paso no, that's el paso yeah. no but laredo is like right there on the border yeah it's on the border nuevo laredo is nuevo laredo, laredo. Yeah, got exactly. it got yeah. it we had a friend that grew up there and used to like go eric friedman our buddy his wife yeah. katia like we used to like when they were teenagers would think about this knowing what you know kind of yeah. about that area as teenage, a teenage girl, someone who maybe would cut her belly button off, I don't know, but like to, for a boyfriend, we'll find out. would like go with her friends and cross over into the Mexican side and just go out. 
because you well you know i lived uh in the detroit area we used to go over to windsor windsor all, windsor. all the time so it's really yeah. same thing exactly. Exactly. You, get it. you get it you pretty <laughs> drew on that a lot yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, <laughs> it was rough i don't want to get into that <laughs> talk about bad memories i know yeah. okay ready yes all right tony's get your answers right now because paulina casillas landeros is 23 years old. Oh, I said 24. Wow. Way to go. Man, there you yeah. go. I kind of knew her. I, she was like, she's on the edge of being able to do that. That was. Right. She was 20 when she did it then. If it was three years ago. Right. So it was a three oh. years ago. So I was right. Yeah. So, so you're right, right when that, she did it. Right. I was right about the, the inflection point. I think either <laughs> a 20 year old does this or like a crazy. Kathy Grandma. Bates, misery, fifty-four-year-old woman yeah. does it. Either so, way, right? Either way, it's Not kind good. of in that crazy in that yeah. pocket. That's a story, it. gents. That is a great episode. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for listening to the show. Come see us at Largo, then come see us in San Francisco. Watch Narcos Mexico. Follow Daniel Van Kirk. Uh, check his Daniel website Kirk. and his website DanielVanKirk.com. Yes, see sir. when he's coming to a town near you. And same with us. We got lots of great shows. Supersclars.com. And oh shit, we got to get back to work. Dum dum dum. Make a sound, hunger down, it's dumb people town. It's a good show.